Hi Stampers, it's Super Awesome Stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, USA. That's just uh, outside of Madison or a suburb, a northeast suburb. And I've been living here in the Madison area for about 25 years. And when we moved into the house, I got the stamp room that you see behind me on my videos. So if anybody's watching, leave a comment and that way I can try to find you on my feed and make sure I'm in the right spot. Um, oh, Valerie, you commented, yay, okay. All right, mute that. So I think I will switch you down to my table. I've got a lot of projects to share with you and uh, two demonstrations to get through. So you're gonna see my hand first and then you'll see my workstation. So cover your eyes if you get a little dizzy and I'll be right back. There's my wall and then here's my workstation and strap you into my camera stand. There we go. All right. And then I'm just going to make sure I can see everybody's comments before I get started here. Hi, Leah from Milwaukee. Valerie, all the way from Hershey. Thanks for joining. Hi, Sandra from Oconomowoc. A couple of my fellow Wisconsinites on tonight, so that's great. Thanks for joining us. So I will be featuring the Dandy Garden Suite from Stampin' Up! tonight. And that's because that is my Suite of the Month feature for... April. So all month long I'll be featuring this suite and then if you purchase this suite of projects you get a couple of make along kits with me and I'll explain that program in a minute. But here's the stamp set that I'm featuring tonight. So the images on the front of the case are the images as they appear correct to size. This is a cling mount, the red rubber, and this is how I attach my labels. I have the red rubber down to my case and then the cling piece facing up and as you can see sometimes they stick to the other side of the case depending on where they're where they are in my stack on my shelf. So that's the stamp set we're featuring tonight and this is the first card that I'm going to be stepping everybody through and before we do that and I just want to make hi Mona from Kansas. If anybody has any comments while I'm demonstrating I'll be watching my um, comments and I can try to address them as we go along but I'll also address comments after I'm done with my segment here. So tonight I'm featuring the Dandy Garden Suite, uh, page 24 and 25, and then we flip it over page 26 and 27 of the January to June catalog. Hi, Amy from New York. All right. So this is the first card that I'm going to step through tonight. And I don't like coloring. I don't like fussy coloring. Let's put it that way. So I always grab supplies that enable me to color quickly and that I don't have to be so neat about it. So my first step is to actually grab one of my squares here that I've already processed through my embossing machine using the Whimsy stitched dies. So I've got I've got a stack of those set on my side. Um, Oh, actually, I don't I don't use that for this one. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I have a second card I'm going to demo that I think I like a little better than this one. Anyway, so ink that up. Press down. And then I'm done with this. And I'm going to try to make sure I cover my uh, ink cases as I go so that I uh, don't get the wrong dauber and the wrong ink here. So this is the Blackberry Bliss. Pulling the poppy parade in. You might see where I'm going here. I've got my sponge daubers out. Like I said, I like techniques where I don't have to. This is the balmy blue. I don't have to be so precise with where I'm applying my color. So all I'm doing is tapping my sponge dauber and my ink pad. And I am just doing a couple of swirls on either side of that dragonfly body. And you can kind of either do a twist or you can just brush up and down if you want a more saturated look. So why don't I do up and down because I did brush while I did the sample. Or I did twist or I did the twist there. So I'm brushing up and down. Again, quick color. 
Sponge daubers you can clean under water, but you can see that these are stained with color. So I tend to keep those in the color family of whatever I'm using. All right, so I'm done with these. I'm gonna set those to the, to the right. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna shut them up. So you can see how I quickly added color without having to grab my markers. And then our dragonfly punch, we punch a small one and a large one. And there is no coordinating stamp for the um, small little dragonfly, but I'll show you a little tip that I've done with that one. So it's punched out in basic white. But you see, I can I have added color to that in the same kind of technique. I've brushed color along the wings, and then I've stamped on the body. So let me show you how I've done that, the, the stamping on the body. So I've got enough um, ink that I can just brush my dauber along the center. And then did I do, I did all three. And then I'm gonna do the, just the side of the dauber, kind of getting an ombre look. Side of the dauber next to the Blackberry Bliss. And all of these will look a little different depending on how much pressure you apply and how much ink you've got on your dauber. And then we need to add the body. So I shouldn't have shut up all my ink pads so quick. Let's open that one back up. I need the, the mossy metal one open again. I'm gonna ink up my large dragonfly. And I can see I don't have quite as much ink on there as I need. There we go. Now I'm gonna lay that small dragonfly over the center of the large one with the ink side down. Grab just any kind of scrap paper and press down and walk your finger along that. And what we're doing is getting the impression of the long body and the wings on the small dragonfly. So flip it over. And voila, we've got a dragonfly in the small punch that's got the little wing striations and the body stamped on that without having an additional stamp in our stamp case. So that's just one little trick I wanted to share with that. All right, I'm not gonna fully assemble this card because I got a couple more things to share with you. But the other things that I did with this card would be to process through the embossing machine using the Ornate Floral Embossing Folder. So I always encourage you to grab your embossing folders and emboss up that front base. It just adds so much wow factor. You've got the embossing folders, you might as well use them is what I tell people. All right, my inside is always a 1 6th of an 8 half by 11 basic white. And when I cut my pattern paper down, so it measures five inches and by 3.75, I initially had it cut at four and I'm gonna pull this up again. I've got a Blackberry Bliss mat in the back there. I had that in my sniblet bin, already cut down. So I had to cut a little bit off of the pattern paper so it fit. And what I cut off, I put on the inside. So if you have little scraps of paper or ribbon, feel free to decorate your inside and it just, increases the wall factor of your card. Um, the other little things on this card that make this an extra special card would be our antique corner trinkets. So you get um, 30 trinkets in, an, in a package. So I've combined a couple packages here. So don't think if you purchase this um, container, you're gonna get all these, but you get um, the corners and you get the slides in the packet. So I've added the four corners on either side just with a glue dot and then layered it up with my stitch whimsy square and that's a three by three square and then again it had some blackberry bliss mat and bumblebee cardstock mat and a little snippet of this fun ribbon which i think is in the ice cream corner suite it's this blackberry bliss sheer ribbon so all those things combined make this to be a super card. It's a lot of layering and layering adds a lot of wow factor. And then um, take into account your dragonfly. So you can see the difference. This dragonfly, I did the twist, just the finger twist to get the uh, ink. 
And the one I did on camera with you today, I did the drag across. So there's more saturated color on that design right there. All right, so moving ahead. I've got another card to share with you. Get the sponge jobbers out of the way, although I do need some of those. Get the little dragon file we'll to set it up there at the top of the mat. Before I proceed with that, let me get the stitched whimsy dies. Let me describe those to you. So it, it comes in this set, so rectangulars and squares. You can see the largest one fits an A2 card front. So just adds a nice little detail to the card front. If you, uh, you could certainly do uh, put an embossing folder on top of the Stitch Whimsy, but I think that adds a nice little wow factor. And then this was the size that I used to cut the square that I used in the card. And the Stitched Whimsy framelits coordinate with the Hot Dog Photopolymer set. I've yet to add some ink to this stamp set, but it certainly is a cute one. And note that this is a um, a collar, a cone of shame. It took me forever to figure out what that was, but it's a cone of shame. All right, I knew it wasn't a dog dish with all those straps, but anyway. All right, so next up is going to be this card. So this was a quick and cute card that I um, whipped up while I was watching the previous segment with Inky Stamper. Um, and I had this idea in mind. So I have this stack of already embossed, stitched, whimsy, cut stack of things. Um, I think I mentioned that when I run my Big Shot or my embossing machine, I just cut a whole bunch of shapes at once. So I just don't pass through one thing at once. And then I eventually get a stack of something that I need to use up. So this was the stack of something. All right, so in that Dragonfly Garden stamp set, we've got this tall flower image. And I just wanted to do a quick little note card. So Memento Ink with the flutter of these butterflies in the upper right corner. All right, I'm done with the Memento Ink, so I can shut that up. One little tip that I wanted to share, when you're starting to punch things out that have got odd shapes like the dragonfly, one thing I keep on my table is a smaller word punch. So this is the classic label word punch. And I keep an empty container from our embellishments on my table and I just punch these out and use them as I need them. But I know I'm gonna need a sentiment stamped on this card so I can go ahead and do what I recommend, which is stamp first and punch second. That way you get a perfectly positioned sentiment on your um, punch. There you go. Okay, put that on the other side. All right, next we're gonna do some coloring. So I've got these sponge daubers that have got ink on, still, still saturated most likely, because I just pressed lightly. You're just gonna take the sponge dauber and twist. So you can see this one is much darker than the one on my sample. Again, it just depends on how much pressure you add. Cone flower, cone flower is getting incre increasingly small, so I'm just using the side of my sponge dauber. And then this one, the Poppy Parade's way on the bottom for this mum looking one. All right, now to finish the coloring, I'm using a lot of different text techniques tonight. I'm gonna pull out my Stampin' Blends. These are our alcohol-based markers, but they have a really nice um, tip that allows me to do like a watercolor look really fast. So I'm not really coloring all four of those little petals just doing a circular motion. And then I did the tops of the cone flowers in the yellow as well. So that was the light daffodil delight, I'm pretty sure, yep. This is the light shaded spruce, and I use that for all of the foliage on the cone flowers. Now the light shaded spruce is a little darker, so I'm going to be a little more careful to stay within the lines.
and then just color all the leaves. And you can see how quickly this comes together a colorful little note card. Again, using sniblets. So this Blackberry Bliss mat that I have right here was just a sniblet in my already cut bin. Um, I tend to like to pull those out and use those when I can. So this is a light real red. And the light real red is more of a hot pink. And that I just colored on this, the smallest looking, it looks more like a bunch. And I see I missed, I missed some yellow sprigs right here towards the top. All right. And there we go. So set that over your sniblet of whatever coordinating color you've got. Pop your thinking of you up on some dimensionals. Add some of our polka dot tool ribbon and you've got a quick card. Probably in under two minutes if you're a quick uh, colorer. So I just wanted to point out that this stamp set is pretty versatile. Okay, I think I am done with this ink pad so I can close that up. All right, so I'm going to check in and see if there are any comments. I'm going to scroll up and see if there are any more comments. Nope. Okay. All right, let me move some things out of the way here. All right, I mentioned that we've got, I have the April Suite of the Month, and that, the Suite of the Month this month features the Dandy Garden Suite, the suite right here. And I am going to show you, I normally don't show anybody show you the whole how about I do this how about I do this I like to have these sweet of the month projects kind of be a, a fun reveal when you get them in your mailbox so what happens is if you purchase the sweet of the month I will mail you two make along kits and then I will email you the YouTube videos and show you how to assemble the kits using your sweet of the month um, products. So generally you need the stamp set and the die cuts or the punch to complete the projects that I mail to you. So uh, this, the sweet collection is quite pricey. It contains one of everything. So actually two stamp sets, the punch and the die cut. So for this month you don't have to purchase a sweet but you do either have to purchase the stamp set and the die cuts or the stamp set and the dragonfly punch plus um, something else to get you to $50 or more. So all my Suite of the Month projects feature product purchases that exceed $50 or more, and then I mail you these make-along kits. So here is a little more reveal for this make-along kit. All right, and here is a fun little die cut. So I wanted to explain about the die cuts. If you purchase the Dandy Garden Suite of the Month project products, you will get a package of the Dandy laser cut paper. So take note, if you decide to only purchase one or two on page 25, you wanna to add to your order these Dandy laser cut papers. Because you get one sheet of each, see I've already used some of these up, I cannot include these little die cuts that I'm using to um, complete your cards. So you wanna make sure that you add that to your order if you wanna take part in the Suite of the Month. So Suite of the Month changes every month. Um, last month it was a Hydrangea Garden Suite, which is, well, the first Feb, um, January was the Ice Cream Corner Suite, my favorite. Um, and this was one of the samples from that suite. So how to create this card is on my YouTube channel. Just look for this sample, you'll see um, I put the project photo to the right and then what it is to the left on my thumbnails on YouTube. So go to my YouTube channel to see how to create that card. Just wanted to share that. Um, getting off topic here. Sweet of the month. Oh, this month is Dandy Garden, April. May is going to be the Oval Occasions. So we have a new punch, a double punch, scallop and an oval, plus a coordinating stamp set. So that bundle is only $33.25, so you need to increase your order in that month to get to um, greater than $50 in order for you to mail you your make-along kits for the May. I don't know uh, the suite of the month for beyond May because our annual catalog just dropped to the demonstrators um, this week. 
Uh, and if you were a customer of mine in the past six months, you will get a new annual catalog in the mail from me. Um, but we can't share uh, the new annual catalog with you until we actually have products in our hand or the catalog in our hand. So that's one perk of being a demonstrator is getting sneak peeks at the new catalogs before all the customers get sneak peeks. Um, I'm going to pull this back in because for some reason I had, oh, that was the ice cream corner. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do I want to go over with you? Dandy Garden. Here are some of the papers in the Dandy Garden suite. So front and back. Let me pull that back in. They are 12 by 12. I wanted to make sure you are aware of that. There are 40, 48 sheets in the pack and you get four sheets of each. So you can see here are all the patterns. I've used many of them up and this is just what I have left in my stash. Um, okay, so there's that. Last, I am going to pull in my projects for April 17th, the next um, one of a kind craft along. These are my projects. So it's a pop-up greeting card. They fold flat for mailing. So this kit is an all-inclusive except for adhesive. So there is no additional punching. All of the supplies except for adhesives are included in your kit um, this time around. So if you wanted to add your own sentiments, you're welcome to do that. Um, add something to the back. You can do that. Um, also, you know, if you got your little handy dandy classic labels, you can add some little classic label punches towards the bottom, at the top, wherever, wherever you want to add a little sentiment. Um, so my kits in the mail for April 17th are on my blog at superawesomestamper.com. Click on kits, kits in the mail, um, either at the top in the menu or along the right hand side, you'll see a photo of these kits. So you have the option to purchase all three designs, um, which is one ice cream, one kitty cat, and one dog, or purchase an ice cream and a kitty cat, or purchase an ice cream and a dog. This The choice is up to you this month. I thought there might be some pet lovers out there that had um, uh, were leaning one way or the other for their pets and maybe didn't want either the cat or the dog in their kit. But I am happy to tell you that most people are ordering all three. and. I've got a little kind of poll going. It's neck and neck. We have, it's been since the start of day one, we've always had one more dog um, kit being ordered than the one kitty cat being ordered. So I find that kind of interesting. But again, most people are ordering all three and I thank everybody for their orders. It helps me to fill my day to fill the orders and it makes me happy that I'm sharing. These are actually the um, two things that I love most. I love ice cream and I love my pets. So. All right, if there are any more questions. Yes, Valerie, did you get your kit already? Um, I mail them usually the next, the day after you place an order. My mail pickup is late morning usually. So as long as there is an order when I wake up in the morning, I usually can get it out in the mailbox and it can be on its way. Um, let's see, what else do I have in my stack to show you? Oh, here we go. Um, couple more things before I sign off here. I always have host code going on my blog. So it's on the right side of my blog. If your order is less than $150, excluding in shipping and tax, please use a host code and look for it on my blog. This helps me earn some host reward items that I can um, pass on to you. Also, if you're placing an order, try to make it more than $50, excluding in shipping and tax because then I will mail you some make-along kits as well. So the way I mail my kits, whether it's for Sweet of the Month or make-alongs, are um, with these six by nine envelopes. And I tuck both of the kits inside. And if there's pattern paper that's larger than, taller than five and a half, it'll be tucked along the side as well. So this kit, you'll get a piece of six by three of the Dandy Carden paper. And then I'm gonna sneak peek this card as well, as long as I'm here. This is one of the make-along kits for April. So if you just place an order through my website using that host code that's greater than $50, you'll get this make-along kit. And let me show you what's inside this kit so you have a better idea. So the pattern paper, 
the two strips of paper, the granny apple green and the Eclipsal coral, a strip of the scalp ribbon, and a couple of the elegant faceted gems. And then you'll have some paper to punch your um, postage stamp punch, and then to stamp your dragonfly and cut your dragonflies out, and then a piece of paper to line the inside. The hell you haven't gotten yet, but it's just been ordered a few days ago. Yes, I kind of forget who, who has what. Um, usually a lot of kits go out like on Monday because it seems like the weekend people re remember to order kits. And then this is the second kit. I don't have a sample to show you. This one's going to be a real surprise, but this will be a second kit. So this kit actually does have the delicate dragonfly, soft suede and gorgeous grape and one of those classic label punches. So on this card, you would use that. And again, I send you the YouTube links to do the make-along kits. In addition, Sweet of the Month and the normal make-along kits, you are welcome to join us on a Zoom call towards the end of the month. Sweet of the Month is the third Wednesday of the month at 1 or 6 p.m. Central Time. And then just the general product ordering Zoom link is the fourth Wednesday of the month at 1 or 6 p.m. So you can just hop on and chit chat with me about stamps and what you're doing and where you are in the country. Happy to have you. That Zoom link will be emailed to you closer to the end of the day. Um, one last note about the host code. If your order is greater than $150, excluding shipping and tax, do not use a host code so that you can enjoy all the host rewards and redeem those on my online store. I will still mail you the Suite of the Month kits if you purchase the Suite of the Month, and I will still mail you the Make Along kits. Um, just make sure. Oh, oh, and this little ladybug fell out of this one kit. I better make sure it gets back in there, right? Otherwise, somebody's not going to get a little ladybug. That was one thing in the Dandy Garden Suite um, that goes in this kit. These little cute ladybugs, let me put it on a, are an embellishment. It's not a self-adhesive embellishment. That's why it kind of flew out of the kit. But you'll get one of those in your make-along kits if you placed an order this month. And my make-along kits change every month, and so do the speed of the month. All right, uh, any questions, shoot me a PM. Um, follow me on my blog, which is superawesomestamper.com to get the latest Stampin' Up! news. Let me know if you want to to be added to my email list. I email, email a few times a month, um, combining what Stampin' Up! does and what, what I have coming up in that same email. And um, I also have a business Facebook page, so like and follow me over there. I do have Facebook Lives on my business Facebook page as well. All right, so I think I will sign off uh, and let the next person hop on promptly at 6 p.m. Central. And again, these are my kits that are available for sale for the April 17th uh, craft along. And I hope that you enjoy my kits and my presentations and we'll stamp with you soon. Bye.